Hey everybody, happy December 14th, 2023. The reason I'm on here today is to talk about uh, a precursor to uh, the video that'll be up tonight. Um, that is the 20 minute uh, documentary short about Arrow and my life and bringing him home. Um, Arrow had a few messages that are not really clear, so I'm gonna spell them out. One, that all rescue is important and no rescue is a throwaway. They have a lot to contribute and that is especially senior rescues. Uh, Arrow should not have survived as long as he did, and he not only survived, he thrived. Arrow should have never been sound, but because of Connected Energy Healing, my work, which you can find at ConnectedEnergyHealing.com, he was sound the entire time that I had him. In addition to that, he had shattered front teeth that were completely black, and initially the dentist said that they would have to be removed, and within a year, those teeth were completely regenerated and healed due to my work. Three, <laughs> he was diagnosed with the impossible disease of uveitis uh, by two of the top veterinarians in the area. And by the time in six months, I had him fully sighted and he passed away in my care fully sighted. He was a senior rescue that came to me at the older age of 20 years old sorry some of the local dogs saying good morning um he came to me he was older than 20 and all these things happened which would have been impossible but happened through my work and my care connectedenergyhealing.com that's what made it possible and, and arrow really wanted people to know this we would have never found his people but for arrow's insistence and my type of work someone's coming over to join us in this conversation <laughs> and here he is William who was Arrow's choice to take his place once he passed away William was also rescued during the same time period as Arrow a year after Arrow a year and a half after Arrow was rescued we had to raise a lot of money so the people have context I had to raise ten thousand dollars the first time to rescue Arrow and get him situated and then I had to take him cross country. Each time I had to find the funds and get him rescued. And each time as a holistic healer, and I'm not famous, I was able to do this. William's rescue was out of Los Angeles, California while I was in New Jersey and I still raised $10,000 to rescue him in an impossible situation. And this was Arrow's choice to replace him. Same member, a member of, or one of Arrow's herd, one of uh, Choctaw Spanish Mustangs. So you see that no matter how insurmountable the odds seem financially, you can achieve your goals no matter what. And you have to have faith in that and no stone unturned. Over six years with Arrow, just Arrow alone, was $180,000 as a holistic healer who walked away from corporate. And I happened to be able to do all that money uh, because of my work being so successful with a pristine reputation and the fact that people found out that I had found the origins of a stolen horse with no paperwork. There are not many animal communicators or healers with that level of ability because I used not only the communication work, but I also used the energetic part of it to bring these circumstances to me that would show the truth. There's so much more to the story. So know that the fantastic amount of money that was required always came forth. I was laughed at quite a few times in the beginning and I made it happen every single time. And so people who work with me know of my ability through ConnectedEnergyHealing.com and Arrow certainly wanted to make sure that my work came forward because without my work, none of what happened for him would have been possible. Allopathic medicine would have thrown him away. Most people would have thrown him away because of his emotional problems and physical issues. But my work made him shine. So again, he wanted people to know about my work, that rescue is important, that no rescue is a throwaway. And there is so much more to the story now on December 14th for raising money for John Brownrigg, yes, a person, who has Jack's nephew, this combat military veteran who is disabled and has lots of physical issues, had over $10,000, again, there's that number, stolen from him of equipment. He can't even ride his horses. They stole his bridles. He can't work Jack. He can't 
do anything. And this is how he earns his livelihood. He is a member of the U.S. Cavalry Association and a three-time, three different horses, Balti Cup winner, including with Jack, Black Jack, Arrow's nephew. Sorry about that. So please uh, give generous, generously to Rescue Me Incorporated through Touching the Lives of American to help us raise money to replace all of John's equipment so he can continue to take care of Jack and continue to take care of himself. This is supporting a military veteran and rescue horses. Jack would have fallen into very bad hands, but for John Brownrigg. So thank you again. And please watch the film, share the film, and share my work. ConnectedEnergyHealing.com And please book with me if you have a horse that is very misunderstood or an animal in need, wild or domestic. My work has been known to be able to help in impossible situations and now is the time to get it more out there connectedenergyhealing.com and thank you for sharing arrow's story and thank you for helping raise donations for john brownrigg this is arrow's legacy and it's happening now yet again three years after his death thank you <laughs>